I'm going to be giving you guys a talk about my work. I've, so I'm going to make it abbreviated. Okay. Um, I, had, I had plans to give you guys like a little quiz. I do actually have the quiz up on my social media page. It will hover. So if you guys want to play it, hopefully you'll be able to get in there. Um, I have a PowerPoint loaded up, but that's not working either. So I'm just going to give you like a little improvisation. So um, I asked you guys a couple questions. What are some things that therapeutic massage is good for? So I'd ask you, and we'll say, is it A, B, or C, or D? So A would be um, improving posture. B is improving digestion. C is improving um, um, sleep issues. And D is all of the above. What do you all think? Of all of the above. Okay. Um, massage is, which system does it work with? Um, respiratory, A. Cardiovascular, B or muscular, C, or D, all of the above. Okay, we got that one. Okay, and then, <laughs> all right. Um, I'm gonna try to remember all the stuff I wrote this morning. Um, so, uh, you, if you could come to see me for treatment, if A, car accident and you're a pit person, B, is you're um, an athlete or you've worked out and you're sore, C, you just have nagging pain that's getting to you. Or D, all of the above. All of the above. Okay, good. All right, we got that. Um, if you're, I you know, right? If you have, um, did you know, okay, let me ask you this question. Um, massage also treats <coughs> fascial pain and uh, fascial pain is fascia is this connected tissue that connects every structure in your body and you can get weird like twisting in your fascia even if your muscles are relaxed. So can massage treat that I do treat that? The answer is yes or no? Yes. 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 Neuromuscular therapy and trigger point therapy and my fascia release, I can use that. Um, I'm trained, how many years, uh, how many modalities am I trained in? Some of you know, 20 is it five, 10, 15, or 20 plus? 20 plus, that's right. I did a count, I think it was 23 when I checked it out. So a lot of Asian massage, Western massage, some specialized like lymphatic drainage, neuromuscular therapy, reflexology that's pain free, by the way, and awesome. Um, okay, how long should you wait to book an appointment? Don't. Okay, Don't when you're hurting in excruciating pain, A. B, set up a regular treatment time for yourself so that you don't get to excruciating pain. That's like, that's the bit, getting the most benefit from preventative health care. Or like C, don't do it at all, or D, all of the above. B. No, it's B. Yeah, you, well, yeah, okay. So yes, for my procrastinators, I try, I do emergency massage. I try to accommodate people whenever they need it. If they're like hurting, I'm gonna try to get you in. Most of you have experience with that. But um, if you can get on some kind of plan, usually once a month, once every six weeks, once every two weeks. So it depends on your stress level and your pain level. So A, massage can treat and address stress, pain, um, poor mood. I'm not looking at anybody for specific. <laughs> <laughs> or D, all the above. Okay. All, the above. All, right, all right, great. Okay, yes, good. So they, they've shown that, um, so all, do you know that touch is perceived in the brain? Everything is perceived in the brain, but touch is actually perceived in the brain. So if you're having challenges with negative thinking, uh, poor mood, um, a lot of other challenges, massage can also be helpful for that as an adjunct therapy. So I'm Ariel Hubbard with Hubbard Health Solutions. I do have some openings next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I would love it if you could work with me um, if you want to reach out or you know somebody who needs help. But I also have ongoing appointments available. Thanks so much for reaching out. For more information, go to www.arielhubbard.com. That's A-R-I-E-L-H-U-B-B-A-R-D.com. Or go to Hubbard Health Solutions on Facebook.